Good afternoon. I am Charles Richardson. I am the principal here at East High School. And on behalf of the district uh, and this school, we want to welcome you this afternoon to this uh, wonderful occasion. Here at East, we are very fortunate to have students, uh, supportive parents, and very creative students and talented that are eager to, ma eager to make their mark in the world as they continue to progress and become productive citizens. At this time, I would like to thank those students and all the other representatives that are here to greet you in order to have this event occur today. At this time, I would like to introduce one of the students, Khalil Clayton. He is a Columbus Downtown High School student, and he is going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Khalil Clayton. We'll all rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to his name, its lands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, justice for all. Thank you, Khalil. And now I would like to introduce you to Deshaun Gonclavis. He is a very talented student here at East High School where he also attends Fort Hayes, uh, Fort Hayes High School where he is honing his skills and becoming a musician as, and his music aspirations. Uh, he is very talented. He is the pride of East High School uh, at this time. Deshaun Don Clavis.
but never much too soon. No one remains unchanged. Our soul. So many things in life you can be sure of. Ooh. Except the rain comes from the clouds, the sun from the sky, and hummingbirds to fly. Thank you. Thank you, Deshaun. Thank you so much for that, that selection. And now at this time, I am honored to introduce to you our board president, Gary Baker. Let's thank Khalil and Deshaun again for helping us to open our program. Thank you, Principal Richardson, for hosting us this evening uh, at this Columbus Focal Point. Over the past few months, East has hosted the Will Haygood book launch of Tigerland, as well as our Metropolitan Library opening, the new Martin Luther King branch right next door. I want to thank you and East High School, the whole family here, for making us and a lot of our community partners feel right at home. So let's give our gratitude to our principal as well. So we have the privilege of helping students achieve their aspirations. There's a quote from a famous tennis player in your program, Arthur Ashe. He says, or he said, success is a journey, not a destination. The doing is often more important than the outcome. This celebration today is about what our students, staff, and community members are doing to help our district, our students, achieve success. The Board of Education and I want to express our gratitude as well as our appreciation to each of you. And you'll hear in a little bit from my colleagues, but I do want to recognize at this point Board Vice President Michael Cole and Board Member Ramona Reyes and Board Member James Raglan. Thank you. And whether you're here tonight as an honoree, family member, friend, or colleague, we hope that you capture a glimpse of the success within Columbus City Schools. Our students, staff, and community partners are doing some incredible things, and we need to make sure that we take a moment to say congratulations and keep on doing what it takes to achieve success. Let me briefly explain how the program will unfold. As each recipient's name group, team, or association is announced, they'll walk across the stage to be greeted and receive a medal of success right here at the table from my colleagues. They will then exit the stage to my right to return to the auditorium for the remainder of the program. Feel free to applaud or take pictures, um, hoot and holler, whatever you want to do to celebrate this special occasion as we honor these folks. Um, who are helping the district achieve success. And certainly do share this event through social media using hashtag Spirit of Success. If you forgot your camera, don't worry. This event is also being recorded and the video will be posted on YouTube, Facebook Live. So let's get started. At this time, I'd like to uh, thank all of the student ambassadors who have volunteered to assist us with the program tonight. These young students have clear visions for their futures and incorporate their efforts in many of the district's developments as the year unfolds. 
Their inclusion in this event tonight shows that our students are essential to our success story. And so what I'd like to do now is welcome Kevin Damoa and Chloe Abalaka to the stage and ask you to offer your applause for them. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Kevin Demoa and I attend Beechcroft High School. It is my pleasure to recognize many of my peers who are creative, talented, courageous, and highly motivated. Students from this district have demonstrated success in the classroom as well as at local, state, and national levels of competition. Let's get started recognizing some of my incredible peers. The students that you heard perform earlier actually won a national showcase of talent at the Apollo Theater in New York over the summer and is a feature artist of the Next Paragon Project at Fort Hayes. Let's recognize Deshaun Calvez for his talented success. The following, the following student athletes have demonstrated their success both in the classroom as well as in the chosen sport. The following are this year's city league champions with many advancing onto the district, regional and state level competitions as well as individual honors. The city league champions in boys soccer were all goal oriented. Let's meet the team for West High School. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'd like to congratulate my boys, uh, be a city champion. So, first guy will be Bashi Arbo, the rookie of the year. <laughs> Hussein Abdi. <laughs> Hassan Mohammed. Saeed Barud, <laughs> Brian, <laughs> Abraham, uh, this is my captain, Ahmed Arbo, <laughs> Fatah Abbas, <laughs> Makail Mohammed, Abbas Haji, my senior captain, Hassan Hassan, another captain, C.D. Aden, Chris Vinny, another captain, Brian. Mario, ah, uh, one of my seniors, Joseph, and Siku. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one. Hi, good evening. My name is Talia Palmer and I also attend Beechcroft High School. It is my pleasure to recognize more of our peers who are both talented academically and athletically. The Eastmore Academy football team was ready for success in this zone. They made it to just one game away from the state championship. Let's salute the excellence of this team and their All-Metro Coach of the Year, James Miranda. Let's give an ovation to the East Wing Academy Warriors. All right, all right, all right. I guess the London gentleman. Um, first good gentleman, Michael Coleman. Ty Belcher. Yeah. 
Travis Cloudfelter. <laughs> Savon Edward. <laughs> Napoleon Harris. <laughs> Colin Birchmore. Sean Harper. Emmanuel Conway. Josh Warren. Rayvon Wheeler. Corey English. Diamante Brown. <laughs> Elijah Jennings. <laughs> uh, who else is there? Let's go. Who's up next? Bronson Jones. <laughs> Demetrius Sally. Cameron Long. <laughs> Tremonte Rafer. <laughs> Lorenz Lacking. <laughs> Antonio Tatum. <laughs> Diamante Sally. <laughs> Isaiah Presley. Jagir Collier. Antonio Jenkins. And to a couple of coaches, Coach Travis Carfelter. And Savon Edwards Sr. I'm going to ask Vice President Cole to come to the podium, and he is going to recognize some of our staff honorees at this time. Mr. Vice President, would you join me at the podium, please? There you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. Good evening, family. Oh, let's do that one more time. Good evening, family. All right, all right. It is such an honor and a blessing um, to be with you here this evening. Um, I just sojourned back from Northeast Ohio in Akron, where I had a chance to spend the day with them in their public school district. And I kind of, in, in reflection of my day, came back with this nugget. And I want to share it with you. It's just a simple thought that um, one of the greatest gifts that you can present anybody. One of the greatest showing of love is the gift of your time and your talents. One of the greatest ways you can show and express love to another person, another organization, is by gifting your talents and your time. That's so very precious. And I just, again, to our Eastmore athletes, our Eastmore student scholar athletes, because these guys have B averages or higher, um, I just want to say to Coach Miranda and the, the coach staff and those students, thank you for the gift you are to this community. 
Um, to me, it's not just a wonderful thing to make scholarly students, but also to bring young men to the forefront. So thank you for that. I just needed to say that personally. The district's administrators, teachers, and staff are all driven to give every student the best opportunities to grow and excel in the classroom and in life. They don't do it for award or recognition. They do it because they care so deeply about our students and their success. Tonight, we honor a handful of employees whose action went above and beyond their charge and call of duty. First, we have two employees who can truly be called lifesavers. In two separate incidents, these two employees took quick action when they saw each when they saw each a student choking on a piece of food. Now, how many of us have been in that position, even if it's when our, with our own children, where we are called to step up in just an instant, without even thought? But because of their training, they were ready for success to use the Heimlich Maneuver to allow these students to breathe freely again. Let's celebrate two of these superhero lifesavers. Ms. Brandy Slaughter, and Mr. Roosevelt Osborne. Please give them another round of applause. Okay. In Columbus City Schools, we not only have the largest number of students in the state of Ohio, we have the most number of dedicated teachers and staff who are often recognized as some of the best in the state of Ohio. This year, the State Board of Education took note. Please join me in recognizing Centennial High School teacher, Jennifer Laplace, named the 2019 State Board of Education District 6 Teacher of the Year. There's nothing like folks, and, and I've had the opportunity in the past about year and a half now to be in a position of educating young, youngsters in a classroom. And there's nothing like, um, again, the gift of time and talent and patience it takes to be an educator. So I really applaud her work. Um, the Ohio School Board Association recognized this year our next employee as one of the state's 2018 Exemplary Employees of the Year, we congratulate Cheryl Ward, our Director of Social and Emotional Student Support Services. Now, I'm gonna take a point of privilege with this young lady because um, it takes a great deal one of the worst bit of news that any school board member, any teacher, any student can get, any parent, is that a child or a staff member has lost their lives. And this woman here leads our efforts in bringing stability to a, a building and bringing care and comfort that our children, our staff, our families are calling on in one of the most urgent times of crisis. Um, one of those most grief-stricken moments. This is just a single part of the work that she does on a daily basis in addressing crisis in our district, but more importantly, also making sure that we have counselors and other staff who are on point to provide the services for our children. Thank you again, Mrs. Ward. Next, we wanna celebrate and honor a group of employees who model the importance of adaptability of the students. We all know that even the best laid plans can often change at the last minute. The staff leaders of the East High School Marching Band know this for a fact too well. They often call into action on sudden notice to have the band ready to perform in community events and celebrations and they always have their students prepared and ready for success, while at the same time staying true to the strong traditions of East High School. 
uh, we honor and thank Antoine Monroe, Marcel Reeder, and Sadia Woods. Please come up. Thank you, yes. This is one of our superstars, by the way. I met this beautiful sister when uh, she had just gotten a whole host of instruments that she gifted to students. Um, this is work that they're not just doing to train up our children in music, but also providing the resources that they need to be their best in music. Thank you again. Finally, we want to recognize two individuals who have dedicated their careers to advancing our spirit of success. And tonight, we celebrate their retirement. Now, first, let us recognize Mr. Larry Braverman, who has provided dedicated legal counsel to our district's leaders and, his, and this board for more than 20 years. We congratulate Mr. Larry Braverman. If he's not here. And secondly, uh, we celebrate Mrs. Ann Dorian Lanzati, retiring after more than 14 years as the district's director of real estate and shared facilities. Again, wonder, we, we congratulate you on what is not just your sunset in this district, but your sunrise for the rest of your life. Thank you so very much for your service. Next, we want to give the opportunity to honor our community partners and friends. Our district is truly, ooh, I'm sorry. Next to the stage is my lovely colleague and friend, Ramona Reyes. Please give her a round of applause. <laughs> you got excited. Is this a change of script? Is that why you gave it? All right. Just a little shorter. Thank you. So now I'm going to uh, talk about our community partners. Our district is truly fortunate to be embraced by organizations, business, neighborhood groups, and supportive people throughout our great city. All who freely share their time, talent, and resources to support our mission. Tonight, we honor a handful of those great partners and say thank you for all that you do to make a difference in the lives of so many. We, be, we begin with those who provide inspiration to our staff and our students. So with, with great honor, our first honoree is John B. Williams of East Columbus. <laughs> Mr. Williams is one of the Army's few remaining Buffalo Soldiers. They are legendary all black cavalry regiment that dates back to the Civil War. Sergeant Williams and his Buffalo Soldiers shipped out to Europe in 1943, rebuilding bridges that the Germans destroyed in southern France. After the war, he returned to Columbus graduated from the Ohio State University and led his own personal march for civil rights and federal employment. A true activist and pillar in our community, he continued to share his story of fighting for equality from the days of the segregated military he served into the historic presidency of Barack Obama. Tonight, Please stand and join us in recognizing Sergeant John B. Williams, whose legacy continues to impact the cultural vibrancy of this city. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure and honor. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. This is next.
Wow. Next, our district is fortunate to benefit from partners in our faith community. These next honorees are a consistent fixture in several of our schools and with many of our students, having spearheaded a number of efforts to support and mentor students as well as offering assistance and guidance to families. So as a pastor's wife, <laughs> let's congratulate Dr. Keith A. Troy and Adam Troy, who are representing the continuous giving of New Salem Missionary Baptist Church. I'd like to introduce Ms. Shauna Gibbs, who would like to introduce our next honoree as a member of their board. Absolutely, thank you. Good evening. Y'all can do better than that. Good evening. That's what I want to hear. I am W. Shauna Gibbs, and it is a privilege and an honor to stand here before you to recognize all of our amazing awardees, our honorees, the people who help us celebrate our children and our children themselves who help celebrate life, achievement, leadership, and honor. It is my greatest privilege, and I brokered this off rip to make sure I have the opportunity to recognize an individual in an organization that is near and dear to my heart. Founded in 1988, I know I can, now celebrating 30 years of the foresight, dedication, and generosity of the community and civic leaders who believe that no child in Columbus, Ohio should be denied a college education simply because they could not afford it. I know I can, oh, you can clap for that, absolutely, you can clap for that. The incredible leadership and vision of Techie Shackelford, Bob Weiler, Cliff Tyree, and Art Kobacker has set forth the vision that even 30 years later still sends thousands of students to college, reduces college debt, provides opportunities for families to prepare for a lifelong learning with the least amount of impact. It makes sure our college doors stay open and our students are walking through prepared and able to learn at the highest levels. And since its beginning, it has made higher education a reality for tens of thousands. This year, Although Ohio School Board Association recognized the work of I Know I Can, we are always ecstatic at our amazing leader who challenged us to dream big, work hard, and they'll help. To my friend and amazing executive director and attorney and incredible mom and our community leader, please help me recognize Katina Fullen, executive director of I Know I Can. So let me read a quote from our next honoree. Music for me was the one thing that I had growing up that helped me see that I had the power to affect change. I felt that I could have an impact that would make my neighborhood better. I think today it is safe to say that Mark Lomax has done just that. Raised in the Linden community, a graduate of Fort Hayes Arts and Academic High School and earned of a bachelor's and a master's and a doctorate of music and arts degree at the Ohio State University. Mark has performed on more than 30 albums and performed with many of the most prominent musicians in jazz, classical, and gospel music. But he has also spent, he also spends his time using the arts as a means of engaging youth in Columbus, creating targeted programming to prepare at-risk youth for college, career, and adulthood. This year, Dr. Lomax received a coveted 2018 Wexner Center of Arts Artist Residency Award. 
and in January, he will release his music masterpiece, 400, an African epic. Tonight, we celebrate Dr. Lomax, his creative spirit, exceptional talent, and his support of our students and our community. For several months this year, a committed group of volunteer community leaders guided a thoughtful, intense, and honest process to review how we best use our schools and administrative facilities to serve our students and our stakeholders. This group represented our families and employees, our neighborhoods and businesses, our partners, and our city's diverse backgrounds. And together, this facilities task force facilitated months of in-depth data review widespread public engagement and a thorough process to consider potential school consolidations, enrollment zone changes, and administrative site relocations. In the end, our vote voted unanimously on a plan that moved forward on six of the eight final recommendations of the Facility Task Force. Tonight, we once again publicly thank the members of the Facility Task Force who took on the challenge and represented our community. 2018 Facility Task Force members, please step up. No one gave me a list. <laughs> Thank you. Stephen, Stephen Hardwick. And that's Stephen Hardwick. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for your service. And Mr. Mohammed, we apologize for that. Thank, thank you, community honorees. Do, do you want me to keep going or not? Yeah. In our last set of awards tonight, we want to celebrate a group of individuals, businesses, and organizations that helped make history this past summer and made the first day of our school year unlike any other. We know that you can't simply hand out success, but we can make sure that our students have the tools they need to learn, grow, and create their own successes. This summer, our district partnered with NBC4 on a historic effort to get our students ready for success with a bold goal of providing every student in the district with a free backpack filled with basic school supplies on their first day of school. No clap? <laughs> our community responded loudly and proudly the Stuff the Backpack campaign was a tremendous success, bringing together the efforts of several local organizations, businesses, and churches who provided some of our schools with backpacks and supplies. People from across the state joined in, donating supplies and dollars for the cause. Just as important, many of those same organizations joined us on the first day of school to welcome our students back. Crowds of people clapping in students as they get off the bus and walk inside, celebrating the first day and showing our students that our community values education. For their leadership in this historic effort and for committing to do it again next year, we honor and recognize MBC4, Matt Barnes, Joshua Combs, Monica Day, Ken Friedman, Jennifer Kaiser, and Jasmine Logan.
Thank you. In addition to some of our NBC partners, we wanted to honor a few of the organizations who truly stepped up to the Stuff the Backpack. Taylor Coates from Discover Financial. <laughs> Tracy Walter, Henry Sheen Animal Health. <laughs> Bianca Cooper from the Ohio Department of Medicaid. and Kristen Smith, Junior League of Columbus. Let's give all of our honorees another round of applause. Without, without partners like these, uh, the school district just simply could not be successful. So thank you again. Thank you again for all that you do. So this concludes our honors and recognition celebration for this evening. And on behalf of the board and Columbus City Schools administration, I'd like to take this time to thank all of you who submitted nominations, the families and friends who support our students and the staff and community members who dedicate each day to assuring that our students are ready for success. And I do want to again thank my board colleagues who are with us this evening. Vice President Cole, who just uh, let me know that Superintendent Stanford has arrived. He had a long day. He was visiting Akron Public Schools today. Dr. Stanford, are you here in the audience? I'd like to recognize you. Thank you very much for your service. We can't say enough um, about um, how grateful we are for Dr. Stanford's continued leadership in the district. So, Dr. Stanford, thank you so much. And again, I want to thank my colleagues who are here, Vice President Cole and Board Members Reyes and Raglan and Board Member W. Shauna Gibbs, who did join us. Thank you for being here, all of you. And lastly, I want to thank everybody here at East High School who makes it so welcoming every time that we're here. We all love this school like we love all of our schools, but we do host a lot of things here because it's close to downtown. You do a wonderful job welcoming us, so we can't say thank you enough. And for those of you who received medals this evening, downstairs there are small cases to put them in. So if you want to stop downstairs to pick up a case for your medal, feel free to do that. Thank you again all for being here. Happy holidays, whatever holiday you may be celebrating this time of year. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the next Honors and Recognitions event. Thank you. Thank you.